Hi guys, it's Mark from Burton Bibles. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. And we are continuing today our A to Z series. The A to Z series has uh, pretty much run its course. We're at W today. Um, and so why is there a set of scales on my desk, you might be asking? Well, it's because W is going to be for weight. Um, weight is something that's not really not really spoken about much as we... Uh, uh, as we look at Bibles, it's all about the touch and the feel and the text and the, the reading of it, um, which is fine, and that's uh, those things are extremely important. But something that I also think is important is weight, the weight of the Bible, because you, what, that's something that people just forget about and, and, don't, uh, and don't sort of compensate for, because the weight of the Bible is going to affect how you use that Bible ultimately. Because if you want a Bible for preaching and you like to preach from the hand, hold the Bible like that, then a weighty Bible is not going to be the best choice uh, for you. And uh, and also, certainly, as people get older, and there's a lot of older older brethren and sisters that I meet, and you know they're not able to carry these weighty tomes around uh, anymore. So it, that is definitely something to bear in mind as you think about your next Bible. So what I thought I might do is just put some Bibles on the scales here, and let's see, um, let's see who is... Um, <laughs> tipping the scales, if you like, at uh, a, a, and, and name and shame. Although you know, weight isn't uh, weight isn't all about that, is it? But um, certainly, this might be useful if you're wondering how heavy certain Bibles are. So let's fire up the old scales. And the first one that we're going to try is this one of my favourite Bibles of all time, the uh, two version edition Bible from Crimmond House, available from burnbibles.com. Um, I just absolutely love this Bible, and one of the things I like about it is it's it's nice dimensions. Um, it's not too heavy. So let's uh, oh, let's fire up the scales first. I'm going to do this in kilograms because you know you've got to get with the metric system these days. Um, that's a kilo. That is one kilo. Uh, bang on. So that's two point two pounds um, in in other language. So that's a kilogram for that Bible. So that's uh, a couple of pound weight. Nice, not overly heavy. I think that's a good benchmark for a standard size Bible. You know, your typical nine, nine by six, you know, eight and a half, five and a half, whatever um, Bible. So that, that's a good, um, a good one to, to start with, I think. Now, what about my uh, one of my personal favourites? And, of course, it's very recognisable now. The Cameo Wide Margin from Cambridge. Sadly, no longer produced. Um, but here we go. It's 0 0.9 kilograms. It's lighter than that. That's one of the reasons I love this Bible. It's got fantastic slim proportions, slim dimensions, and it's not overly heavy. So I personally find this a great Bible to preach from um, and to carry around. It's just a great size and weight, and that's important. But what about the uh, the Church Bible Publishers version, the wide margin cameo in their iron calfskin, also available from BurtonBibles.com? Uh, let's check out the weight of this one. Will it be heavier or will it be lighter? Hmm... The, the world holds its breath. Let's, uh, let's answer that question right now. It's heavier. It is ever so slightly heavier, just maybe 100 grams uh, heavier. This is a kilo, so the same weight as that two-version Bible. So I think that's still a great weight, to be honest, for carrying around, for portability. But uh, let's, try, let's try something a little, bit more, um, a little bit more taxing on the old scales here. What about this? The Big Brick. This is the Oxford Wide Margin um, Bible, which I love. This is kind of, I think it's 50 GSM paper, really thick paper. A lot of people like to preach from this Bible um, because of those wide margins. A lot of people carry their notes in this Bible, so, you know, they want to preach from it. But as we will see, it's not exactly a light fella. Let's have a look. So we're at zero. Oh, this might even obscure the uh, the scales. 1.8 kilograms, so that's double the weight of this fella here, the wide margin cameo, and that's why we need to bring back the wide margin cameo, because you don't get a wide margin Bible that's that light hardly ever. So a wide margin cameo is a great way to go. This is this is nearly two kilograms, so a significant weight. For carrying around and it's hardly a slim fella it's it's over two inches thick this one so that's just something to bear in mind let's try something else let's move on to um 
Ugh, as I try and put this back on my shelf, maybe I'll do that later. It's so big, it can't be put back on the shelf. Um, and let's take a look at a classic. Uh, this one is going to be... Uh, we'll do this one. Uh, we'll do this one. And we will do uh, this one. So let's try the Concord. The Concord Reference Bible is a fantastic Bible. One of my go-to reference Bible recommendations from Cambridge. This is the goatskin um, edition. And it's, again, lovely slim proportions. And I th personally think that this is going to be a great weight uh, to carry around. 0 0.8 kilograms, so it's lighter even than the wide margin Cameo. Um, and look at that. Just awesome King James Version uh, edition there with the bold number references. A fantastic all-rounder Bible for taking around with you, preaching from, because of that lovely clear font and typeface, uh, and not going to be overly taxing on the, on the arms. Unlike the Concord Wide Margin Edition. So this is the wide margin version of that same Concord Bible in the goat skin. There it is, that familiar Concord typeface with those beautiful margins on that fantastic Bible paper that Cambridge do. This is, is it gonna be heavier or lighter than the Oxford wide margin though? Let's find out. 1.5 kilograms, and that's pretty impressive for a wide margin, a large wide margin Bible at that. It's quite a wide Bible, it's filling the screen there, but at one and a half kilograms, that's not too bad at all, really. So. It's still 700 grams, though, heavier than its normal Concord namesake. So that's why I just think that this system of Bibles, the Concord system of Bibles, is a great one for, um, for taking around the place because you've basically got, yes, you've got three sizes of Bibles, but you've got three very different weights as well. This is the, this is the personal Concord, so it's a reduction of that beautiful Concord uh, typeface and this should be really light yeah not 600 grams so you know just over what's that just over a pound or something you know not even that no oh, yeah yeah just over a pound pounds about 450 odd grams isn't it so that works out really nice as well um let's uh, another one of my go-to recommendations is the uh is the oh no i haven't got it with me Oh, well, that's a shame. I was going to try the Westminster. I have a feeling the Westminster will be very similar, um, somewhere around that uh, that kilogram mark. But here's the handy size Thompson Chain Reference Bible. So, again, a lovely King James Version Bible um, with so much in the back. Um, this one's a nice little... It's, it's small, but it's a chunky little brick size. So let's see what this is. I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere around the kilogram mark, but let's have a look. Oh, it is a kilogram. So your handy size Thompson's a kilogram. Now, I know for a fact that that large print Thompson, as they call it, is going to be significantly heavier, uh, maybe even double or almost double the weight, probably. So I think we've seen a large, a broad spectrum of Bibles here from, from Cambridge um, and, from, and from others. Let's just take a look at this one. This is a very popular Bible, one of my biggest sellers. This is the Cambridge Clarion. Uh, a nice hand size uh, Bible on the chunky side, but a beautiful single column text. This is the King James Version in goat skin. Let's just take a look at that. I, I think I don't think it's going to be a kilogram. It's going to be less than that, and it's 0 0.8, so it's very similar to the uh, to the Concord um, because it's a, just a little bit thicker probably uh, than the Concord, although it is shorter. Uh, and then here's a, a new favourite of mine, the uh, the JND. Bible that I was very kindly gifted. 0.5 kilograms. That's the lightest Bible we've had on the scales. Just a fantastic carry around Bible with that zip closure. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, it's it's weight. It does matter, especially if you're carrying it around the place all day. And it also matters if you're if you also need your hands free or you, you have other things to carry. Um, as many of you will know, I'm a dad and with four kids, you certainly have a lot of stuff to carry to church and back. And therefore, the weight of the Bible makes a massive difference. And that's one of the reasons why I've stuck with this for so long, because it is my kind of go to Bible and it's not overly heavy. So that's less of a burden um, to carry around. So I hope you're well. I hope you're seeing much of the Lord's blessing. 
And I hope you found that video interesting, even just looking at some Bibles. Take care, God bless, and we'll catch up on another video soon. Bye.